everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Unturned Podcast. I'm your host, Kiki Charles, and once again by Stas Wally. I drive. De Leona. No. Oh. And today we have a special guest, P9. Good talk. Um, if you're wondering where Trident is, uh, Trident is gone again. He was here earlier in the morning and then disappeared on us. We waited here for about 20 minutes, and I'm just like not going to wait for him anymore. So. I'll be honest. I don't think people wonder where Trident is anymore. I think I feel like. Well, I need this. I, I need to tell people. Normal occurrence. I, I just he need comes to tell in people. and out of existence. I just need to tell people where he is because it's just like, um, he's, he's one of the hosts. <laughs> when do you think Trident will join? Comment down below. So if you guys right. guess the time where Trident joins the call, um, you will win nothing. Absolutely nothing whatsoever. So, um, yeah. you should do it anyway. You should just do it anyway. Okay, yeah. but this isn't Anyways. about trying games. This is about our guest, P9. Welcome to the show. Thanks for inviting me. Thanks for having me. Uh, we were planning to do your episode a long time ago, but due to certain circumstances, uh, we, of course, couldn't. But, you know, now we're here, so. Yeah, better late than never, huh? Mm-hmm. I guess I'll start with the basic questions I ask most of the guests on the show is, when did you start playing Unturned? Um... I started, uh, it was actually the first day it came out of Steam, like, um, not like the, it was the early access, not now the, the green full light? release version. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like when, when it was first fully playable on Steam, when you could launch it from Steam, okay. because I remember I was, and this was actually, um, shout out to Flodo. This was the same holiday where Germany won the, uh, World Cup that beat like Brazil 7-1 or so. Uh, well. Anyways, uh, I was on that holiday and I had a, like a shitty laptop and I remember I was just looking through Steam, like through the green light, if if there's anything interesting that like comes out and then I saw Unturned and it would come out in like two weeks or so. Um, and yeah, and I, I like saved it to my favorites or however it works, I don't know. And from then on, I played it. And I think on the second day, I already got like Unturned Gold or so. Okay. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm here from the beginning of Steam. Okay, that's uh, like that's around the same time that I kind of joined as well. So you you've been around for a long time now. That's that's a decent amount of time. Yeah, I've been uh, for way too long, man. For way too long, and huh. of course, uh, experienced much. I actually didn't start doing any uh, videos or streams for a, for a long time. Like I just played it by myself with friends and stuff. Um, it's kind of funny. But then obviously, uh, I was told by. Um, uh, sorry to put you on blast, Serati, but Serati told me that actually he started his channel before you, like a week or two before you did, and he remembers seeing you, and I, I think that was pretty cool, uh, seeing that you guys kind of existed um, in content creation at the exact same time. But yeah, you were you were around for a while um, before starting content, which is kind of cool to think about. It's actually funny that you mentioned Serati because there's like a there's a, quite a funny story how like we met. Because um, I was, I remember it was one day when I was on, was it already when he created, yeah, it must have been when he, yeah, he, he's already created content and I knew him then or so. And then I think, oh, I hope I remember correct, but I think one day we were on the same Arena server. Arena was actually popping back then, believe it or not. And he was on and I was on it and we kind of like talked a bit and I used to have, I don't know if anyone listening to this even remembers there used to be something called fantox gaming i believe it was like a like a cre content creator group clan of, of a few people mtn was in i was in um and uh we invited sir ad and i think this is how he got to uh meet a few people also in the content creator scene if you can call it like that i see yeah but so yeah i know sir 84 a, like absolute ages. Why do you say his name like that? Sir Edi? <laughs> Sir Adi? It's Sir, Sir Addy. Addy. I say Sir Addy. I, I think that Sir Addy is correct. I, I always say Sir Adi. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Edi. That, that, that's what it'd be. Is name now. I'm going to call him that. Sir, now. When I see him, I'll be like, hello, Sir Edi. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, Sir Sir Addy. I'm sorry, <laughs> Sir Addy. <laughs> okay. But it's kind of interesting that you bring up that you were kind of here since the beginning. How does it feel growing up um, during a generation of Unturned that's no longer here? Ah, uh, like you mean with all the like Anoma and stuff? 
I, I do, during the time that kind of like the areas that we played, the people that existed back then are no longer here. That's just a fact. And we, yeah. only a couple of us have stuck around for this long, um, for the game. And how do you how do you feel about being one of the people that is kind of left in the community now from that era? Uh, I feel old. That's it. That's it. You don't feel like a sense of like um <laughs> No, um no, I mean I remember a lot of names and uh, a lot of people that uh like most players nowadays that play on turn don't even know. Um like I'm talking like a uh, Hall Paul, I remember. I used to play with a lot. Um well Hayden, maybe a few still know Hayden. Or um but what like they were all like pretty big, uh, bigger than me, obviously Union. Um he was also really big. He actually helped me, like, with a video. Like, I, I used to kind of fanboy him a bit when I was... I think I'm drifting away too much here, but... Uh, it's... No, it's... I, I don't know. But the thing is, time flies by so quick, I feel like. Like, it's... I, 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 don't, I don't really know. But one thing I can say is that, uh, well, Unturn as a whole has gotten... Has become more toxic, generally. Like everything used yeah. to be so innocent, used to be so like friendly. Like even if you just join a server, like no one would. Okay, may maybe you had some here and there, but generally you wouldn't see like anyone even like using any slurs or rarely. Nowadays it's just filled with that. So that's one thing that I notice has changed a lot. Do you miss that about Unturn? Is the kind of uh, kind of laid back, more innocent version of Unturn where most of the players were just kids. Um, I, I mean, I don't, well, I miss like, yeah, I miss not seeing like actual slurs in the chat every five minutes. I, I do miss that a bit, but what do you mean by kids? Well, that's kind of Sorry. like, we were all kind of young. Like, I, I think that I met more oh, young yeah. people back then than I do now. I think now I see mostly teenagers. There's no like, like, uh, I'm not seeing like Billy Bob that's like just turned 10 joining a server that's not like that's like the like super rare now now you're seeing Pablo, the Pablo most... gonzalez 2007 exactly but like, now you're seeing yeah. like a lot more teenagers play on turn the kind of yeah like you said the kind of way that uh the game is um that people talk in this game has changed a lot since back then so yeah i mean i was when i look back at old streams um like I used to stream, I think a year before I created my YouTube channel, and um, I look back at some of the clips from that stream, and uh, man, I look, I look, I mean, I still look young, but compared to then, I looked so young, man. I was like, uh, and I, I don't know, and they were all kids back yeah, then. Yeah, it's, it's, but you're right, you're right. No, you're right. It's way more like old, like older people, not older, but. Like teenagers. teenagers playing nowadays, where it used to be like more kids. I feel like that's definitely. Well, that's. I think that's true. Um, you could say the community itself just matured more. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Well, I think what happened is that a lot of people that, I don't think a lot of kids like, especially now with like maybe a Fortnite and stuff. I don't. I don't know. I don't think a lot of kids like just join on turn and start playing on turn nowadays. Yeah. It's. Mainly yeah. the people that stuck around for a long time, I think. There are yeah. just more alternatives nowadays than there were back then. I mean, Unturned definitely. back then was, yeah. Yeah, a, I guess a it's, I guess it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely gone from kids spending their time, like, scrolling through the free section of Steam to, like, why would they do that when they when they can now grind the Battle Pass, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's that's kind of an interesting thing about it. We got, the Unturned community got, like, a really lucky RNG time period where gaming was kind of at. Like, we had Minecraft at the time, and, like, yeah. Ark had just came out, I believe, at the similar times, and... I mean, wasn't it, wasn't it kind of that, wasn't it kind of that, like, small dip where everyone was like, oh, Minecraft is kid, is, like, cringe kids game, and so, like, no one played no, it? No, I don't think so. I think, because, uh, I think was PewDiePie was still... No, 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 because PewDiePie was still on the, the, the gaming grind um, back then. I don't think people really cared about that. Mm. I think that the time period was, yeah, like you said... There just was a less streamlined options to play video games back then, which led to a lot of expor like exploration of games in general, which led to a lot of people playing Unturned. And I bet you that's why a lot of people back then, and what I feel, is that a lot of 
just like younger kids just got unturned and just played unturned back in the day as opposed to now where mm-hmm. i think it's a lot less streamlined to go to games anymore you're just gonna go to the bigger games that exist nowadays like fortnite like you said or minecraft um or even rust even that's like kind of more streamlined than unturned um but then you could you know there's still more of like uh i guess that i don't know um the medium to get unturned now has become a little bit more difficult than it was back in the day for people that are barely starting their gaming experience so unturned is pretty more like i think more um hidden now as opposed to back then yeah 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 it's kind of it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to start to start playing the game you know you, you you gotta know from it from somewhere yeah like now nowadays i don't kind of see how people can discover the game anymore outside of like because there isn't that much youtube content nowadays i mean that's what i was the, the, also just thinking yeah there isn't yeah. much youtube content there are just other games much more popular games so I think the only way people can start playing Unturned nowadays is literally just a friend that tells you about the game. Mm-hmm. And yeah. with people leaving and leaving the community, that's that's a smaller and smaller number. Yeah. yeah. But I guess in the kind of like, when we're talking about Unturned content, well, P9, you're one of the biggest creators to, for some of the longest time on the scene, um, during when you used to just upload pretty consistently as opposed to now <laughs> uh, well i do not have the most consistent schedule let's keep it as that <laughs> um but no listen charles i actually have a video going up tomorrow okay okay <laughs> well it well when's this wait when's this podcast coming out uh next month next month <laughs> Yeah, we're recording this uh, preemptively because a bunch of stuff's had coming up at the end of the month, so I can't really record. All right, well, that video is definitely up by then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, Ho- but yeah, you've more been, than one. <laughs> you've been around making content for so long. I remember like newer kids would you know be like, "This is the this is the guy. This is the content guy." You know, um, how do you feel about YouTube and when it comes to unturned content? Um, maybe in the past, now, doesn't matter. Mm, it definitely used to be more exciting, I would say, because, well, the longer you do something, the generally less exciting it gets. I guess that's normal. But, uh, I've, and also when it it comes to like my, my videos and like, because I rate uh, most of the times, and there used to be just more bases on servers. That's one thing I noticed. There used to just be more, or maybe it's just that there is more people being good now that they rate all the bases already. Like, so I don't have as many to rate, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. But uh, it used to be easier to get content. Nowadays, it's harder. And with me also trying to not get like offline rates anymore, like I try, well, with, with the videos I did upload, like in the past years, maybe I just try to get online rates and it, it's all getting a bit more difficult uh but sorry what was the question again <laughs> i mean that's a good story like the that i feel like the game skill has gone increased uh as time has gone on like i remember i think silver actually brought this up but um silver was talking about how back in the day like people didn't even know how to play the video game and didn't even know like people were still using like um really bad weapons in combat and thinking they were good um like he said that nobody really respected the matamoras back then or even the maple strike back then but he knew that they were some of the most broken guns in the game as opposed to now where like those weapons are like uh coveted as some of the best weapons now um the only thing you see on most servers exactly but like it, it's kind of it's kind of interesting you bring that up because yeah it's the skill has definitely changed and enhanced but i but back to like i guess what i was trying to get at um how do you feel about unturned content i guess is what more general kind of question like unturned content nowadays uh yeah uh well there's not a lot left is there i mean most people quit uh there's well there's a there's a few people that still upload unturned now and then and the ones that i can think of right now are liam and nilex Mm mm-hmm 
like those i think those are the two b- biggest ones right that like consistently upload on turns mm-hmm. liam is on such a grind it's actually amazing yeah like i i go onto his channel i watch a video i like look away for like 20 minutes so there's eight more yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> He's Liam is yeah, pumping out those uploads. Like, I, I saw that and it kind of reminded me of me like back in the days a bit where I used to just, just like, because I used to go to, like when I started, I was in college and what I would do is when I come home, I would like basically try record a video. Um, and then once I had the video, I would then edit it into the night, like upload it. And then at some point, like, 2 3 a.m. go to sleep, sleep a few hours, and go to college again. Look who it showed was, up. It's wild. <laughs> Trying to showed up, as you can tell oh by the God. noise. <laughs> where is it? Where is he today? Are you. Are you. You good? <laughs> no? Okay. You've I... seen that one uh, CSGO video where there's like a guy saying that he's like in a submarine or something? I love that video. <laughs> <laughs> that's just yeah. trident. That's I mean, just trident. I saw one thirty, and I assumed. Did you just wake up? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, you Hello, you trident. Trident. Just Morning. for context, trident texted about two hours ago. I thought this guy was up already, bro. <laughs> no, I woke up like early to see like what's up, dude. Okay, I see. It, well, he he oh, just said you did stay up. <laughs> All he said is, "Can we talk about maybe an e craft?" He <laughs> he. Oh my! That, Wait, that's all he said. Did I say the fuck? What's what's an e craft? <laughs> yes, I did meant Minecraft. I, I don't oh. remember messaging that. <laughs> what? Bro, does not remember. <laughs> what is he saying, dude? I do not well, remember. So let's I'm talk sorry. about Minecraft then. Okay. I'm sorry that. Being on the podcast is the first thing you have to do in the morning, but I know. <laughs> well, I, I think it's a bit also due to um, my oopsie right there. No, 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 this is a this is a common trident occurrence. But anyways, Minecraft. Anyways, Minecraft. All right. Um, so you, I would say you got you get like a little bit of shade when it uh, comes to your hardcore series, when that was when. That was when Minecraft series really popped off, I would say it's probably like maybe a few years ago. Like everyone was doing a hardcore series, and then I think you tried it. I think you only got as far as I think two episodes. Hmm, jumping right in, huh? I see, I see. Jumping <laughs> right um, in. But what do you what do you like yeah. what, what, let's just say like if the series managed to maybe get a lot of like um attention, like where do you think you'd be now? Um I, I I can't tell you, um, but well, for those that maybe don't know, I mean, probably a lot of people know, but um, I used to like, quote unquote, quit unturned. Like I made a video, like I quit, like I'll, um, I, I, I think I said, I don't know when I'm coming, or I don't know if I said I'm not coming back or I don't know when, but basically I, I was just done with unturned. I just, because, um, well, I was uh, streaming at the time. I was really putting a... a a lot of time into streaming because I was just enjoying it more. Got like way less views there, obviously, but I mean, I, at the time I didn't care because it, it was it was fun. Um, and I kept I kept get, I kept getting people coming into my stream, and the first thing they would ask is like, "Can you please play Unturned? Can you upload Unturned? Yeah. Run a new video Unturned?" And it's it's not a problem if you just get it once or twice, but I got it every single day, like so many times a day. I got like 20, 30 people coming in every day, like new people for the first time, just asking me the same questions. And I, I at one point I was just like, I just make this video so like people will leave me alone for now, hopefully, like maybe. And then I just, because at the time I was, I think I was doing Minecraft speedruns on Twitch because a lot of people, it was like a, like a meta, like a hype thing. And I tried it out, but I wasn't really good at it. I was actually pretty bad at it. So I, thought of just doing like a hardcore series just so I had some Minecraft to play because at the time I was really um, enjoying Minecraft again. Mm-hmm. So I thought of like, why not just uploading it? And um, I did it for two episodes and then I went to 
where did I go? Oh, right. I, I, um, because I'm living in the UK now. And before I was, um, before I was living here permanent, like properly, I was, I had to travel back and forth. Like I had a computer here and in Germany mm -hmm. and I, I, I forgot my world in Germany. So I didn't have access to my world anymore. Oh. So I, I was like, yeah. And then I was like, well, I can't do anything right now, but once I'm back in Germany, I can play it again and I'll get the third episode out. But by that time, I was just not interested in Minecraft anymore. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you have it. You have like those random like two weeks where you just enjoy Minecraft so much that like you grind it all day, every day, and then you just stop. Usually with friends, yeah. I usually have that with <laughs> Rust. <laughs> yeah, I played Rust. So, it's fun. well, if the videos would have like popped off and I never expected them to do good. I even said that. Um, I, in in this video where I said like I'd kill and stuff, I even said I'm gonna upload Minecraft maybe, and I know it's not going to do good, but it's just something I I genuinely enjoyed doing at the time, mm -hmm. so I did it. And um, I don't know if they would have popped up. I don't know. Maybe I would have stuck to Untrue. And I I can't tell you. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say uh, I I wouldn't continue doing it if it didn't get a lot of views. I didn't expect it, and it didn't happen. Um. So yeah. I have a so, question, uh, P9. And then I play it on turn. Oh. I, have, I have a question, P9, because I think something interesting is why do you think so many people want you to play unturned? Because it's not it's not only like a limited thing to you. I remember Zoom B bringing it up that almost every video that he made that wasn't unturned related, you get hundreds of comments just asking him to play unturned. Why do you think the unturned community, when it comes to on YouTube, makes its creators play unturned so much? Uh, I think they like unturned. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's, it's, mm. I don't know if it's like that with a different game. If like, if a Minecrafter would just suddenly play, I don't know, Rust, and then people would ask him to play Minecraft again. Mm. But I feel like with unturned, it's, it's strange because those that play unturned are just so focused, like a hundred percent fully focused on unturned and nothing else. I feel like. They don't know anything else and they don't because so many times in my streams when I play anything really they ask me oh I didn't know you played this I thought you just played Unturned as if I'm like only playing Unturned it's the only game I have <laughs> yeah um, I don't yeah like I don't understand yeah I don't understand people who think that like content creators only ever do one thing on one thing only like if I only played Unturned I would have been gone like four years ago <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's in the terms I don't of wanna, service. It's in the terms of service. Like... You're not allowed to play anything else. You, you, yeah, you're stuck. You're stuck here forever. <sighs> mm -hmm. I don't want to sound Anyways. like. Um, I don't want to complain about like you know. I I get it, and I'm fully aware that. Well, I used to do only unturned for a long time, and then people know me for unturned. They maybe enjoy my content, and then they want to see more. And it's like I don't want to come off as some like I'm not thankful or anything, but. If it's like if it's like so many messages every day and it, it feels like that's the only thing you read and you feel like you have to do something, you know, to please them, it's a bit, I don't know, it's unhealthy. Well, maybe other people think different. Yeah, it was just I was just a bit overwhelmed, I guess, with that. Do you reckon it's the same thing that happens? Because undeniably, a, a like a large portion of the unturned audience is pretty young. It happened. It's kind of the similar thing when you're like you remember back in school and you see your teacher for the first time outside of school, and then just blows your mind that they're also a human. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no, that's true actually. Well, my 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 wife is like a teaching assistant, so oh, so am she's I. always like whenever we go out, she's like, I hope I don't like bump into any like kids in my school. I like why like, and she doesn't. She thinks like she's dressed inappropriately, even though she's just dressed normal. But I guess in school you dress for like you know extra formal, and if yeah. people see you, they're like a bit like uh like why is she normal? You know, <laughs> like she's very, why is she normal? They're very uh, strict. Like you know, you can't have like you know straps. You know, for girls, I think also it has to be like pretty uh, long skirts, even like normal skirts. I think they'll qualify. Um, no, but yeah, what. What grade does your wife um, substitute for? Um, I think, oh, well, I don't know what grade, but I know it's like around like 15 year olds 
Oh. Like 14 to 16 or so. Ah, yeah, the I, worst kind. I do, um, <laughs> I think I do a variety between 11 to 5. So. Oh, you're also a, a assistant? Yes. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's, uh, she's in a, well, she's in a school for like, um, the like the the bad people like those that you know when uh, they get excluded that's like their last hope sort of school oh, mm -hmm. oh so i really know what need, you mean, yeah so they're like, like she yeah, gets really paid needed. extra because it's a bit more dangerous than normal schools that's so uh I gotcha. see. okay they have, like, um, yeah yeah no, sorry it's, yeah. Okay, so it, it, in Poland, it's called a popravchak i don't know what's the translation but yeah i know what you mean School for uh, bad kids. Juvenile. Is it like kind of similar to juvenile hall? Yeah, or... it is. Uh, I think I think I've heard that term before. Yeah. Okay. Here, I'm gonna put this question in the chat so that the audience can hear. This is coming from my genuine heart and the utmost respect for you. And this is not inspired <laughs> oh, no. by any single individual. I know. I know. I know. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. <I> thought so. <laughs> yeah. We really question four P nine. Quest uh, I'll read it. I, I don't mind. I'll read it. Question right. four P nine. Was there a time you actually or you actually or considered a fake base rate? I think yes. you would want to say you actually did or considered a fake base rate. Yes. No. I, I think no, I didn't. You you didn't. Well not. we talked about this uh well before the podcast whilst we were waiting for you trident. If I... you were here you would have known, but no, mm -hmm. I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that kind of goes into my next question I was asked for you, P9, because I feel like, um, and I'm guilty of this as well, I feel like you, for the longest time, and even still kind of now today, you've kind of been the punching bag for Unturn as a whole. My god. <laughs> How do you feel about being relegated to such a position for so long, and do you feel like it was ever fair? Uh, I love it, man. You no, I don't. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I was like, "What? Okay." I, I, uh, I don't know. Maybe I just have a punchable face. Who knows? Do you think that, like, the the way that the country and community has treated you has been genuinely unfair? I, uh, yeah, uh, I, I do think it was unfair. Not all of it. Like, at some points, I, I do agree that I, you know, I, I just did things wrong. But it's like. I don't know. It, it was a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of it was unfair. Like, um, well, because I know what really happened and stuff. But even even if you tell people, they're maybe not going to believe you, or they like they, they just don't know the full context and stuff of certain things. I don't know why though. Uh, you question us why? Um, maybe they just did, uh, they would just rather believe I mean, a lie than just actually investigate themselves. Investigate the truth. I guess, if someone, I, I I think it's well because like I probably because I am on the bigger side of the content creation and also because like I, I did like um I don't know like uh, uh clickbait thumbnails and stuff like all of that image just maybe like it, in their head like everything fit together like oh well when I say clickbait I mean like not misleading but just like arrows and circles yeah. and that type of stuff which but I used everyone to do does that much more yeah. No, yeah, it's much it's much more common nowadays. But mm -hmm. it, I remember when I started doing it, it was like a trend which just started, and like a lot of people got hated for it. And I because I also did it, but I mean it worked. That's why I did it. I wanted people to click yeah. on the video so they see my content. If my content was not good, then, um, well, I the content itself didn't change. It was just a thumbnail. Uh, but I don't know, Charles. I don't know why. Um. I guess, well, I mean, I said that I think to you in the past that maybe things I say to people can come off as rude or used to. Um, maybe uh, it's better nowadays because I'm embedded in the British culture, being nice and stuff, you know, <laughs> trying to be. Uh, yeah. But nice voice, Craig Diddley. Um, yeah. No, maybe it's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Um, maybe it's that. I don't know. Am, am, I, I mean, what do you think, Charles? Is, I mean, you, you guys... Uh, is, is it... What do I think? Sorry to interrupt, but what Honestly, you're saying is uh, that the German is a very aggressive language, is what you're trying to say. 
Uh, it's aggressive, direct. yeah, and they are very, they're very uh, direct. Direct, right? They're very direct, mm. and uh, if, if, yeah, like Our in Germany, you wouldn't say like, uh, I don't know, you wouldn't say, as an example, you wouldn't say like, uh, could you please hand me that fork over? You would just say like, give me the fork. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> give me the. Fork. What about? Wait, what about? Give me fork. What about telling Charlie to stop playing Rust? What would I say for that? Um, you would say, um, Charlie. Uh, I don't know. Stop. <laughs> I. I think <laughs> I was gonna say in German. <laughs> I think what what really made people, um, I guess, see you as a hunting bag because I think for from what I gathered over the years and what I think I was sort of a part of is because I think people believe that you are the core of the sort of content establishment, I guess you could say. Like you you are the person who makes unturn base rating. You're the biggest one of the biggest content creators in the scene. Oh yeah no. You're the guy that, you know, has tried I am to the content. Yeah, to try to make as the as much content as possible around, you know, that certain topic. So I think that's what, what made people dislike mm -hmm. you and would cause a lot of problems to happen. Because I think, even looking back at your content, P9, I think a problem is that there just wasn't enough of you. I never really got to know you as a person. I just knew you as the content. I think that also led to a lot of hate towards you as well because they just saw a guy uploading, you know, you know, making unturned base rating videos. And that's kind of all that people really knew about you. It's kind of the same problem they with saw Nelson. The... Because let me let me, let me explain the videos, this real quick. Not the guy behind them. Yeah, okay. Let me explain this. Because when it comes to that, I kind of related to Nelson. Nelson for the longest time was kind of silent for the most people. I think the majority of people um, don't really haven't really heard Nelson's voice or seen really anything besides the patch notes that Nelson writes up on the you know the front the front page of Unturned. And people kind of dis dissociated you know Nelson as an actual person. I mean, I bet you you probably heard. People make fun of Nelson on a daily basis while playing Unturn in general. Uh, I know I have. Um, and, you know, like, you know, all this, blame Nelson. Oh, this is Nelson. Nelson messing up again. Classic Nelson. Like, that kind of happened um, in course of him. And I think the problem was is that you just didn't really know that this was a guy. You, you just related it to the guy that develops Unturned, and that's all that he was equated to. And I think that's what people did with you. They did it. You're just the guy that made unturned base rating videos, and I don't think anybody really knew who you were. So I think that's what made you become the punching bag. Nilex didn't really become the punching bag because a lot of the content that he wrote was just generally stuff that he thought was fun. And you can tell the creativity behind it as opposed to, you know, the more standardized um, core idea of we need to go ahead and get explosives to be able to raid and snowball and, you know, you know just the general yeah. unturned stuff, you know? So I think that's what happened to you, P9. And I think um, if you were ever to become more consistent with uploads, I think what you need to do to not be in this position anymore is to just be you more so than caring about the content. Even if it's more mainly like not even supposed to be. Because I know you, you brought it up earlier that it's not like Unturn as a whole has become more difficult. And I think... Even Liam brings it up. Liam goes crazy all the time. He's telling me, like, he stayed up 24, like, 7 for a wipe just to, you know, get the content out. And I think that's kind of um, dangerous as a whole because content as a whole is, is – that was that's so fucking hard on yourself, you know, to do that consistently. So I think the pivot, the pivot um, for content, and if you ever do content again, is you just need to be more you, I think, and do more content – that you find more fun to do based around yourself because i think for the longest time you've kind of not done that uh i would agree with you um before uh, well uh, going back to that because you mentioned nelson um uh i think when when people like just complain like oh they would say like oh thanks nelson or like uh Great job, Nelson. When like some <laughs> bug or so happens in game, oh, I think this is great. more of Good a. Job, no. <laughs> I think this is so normal because like it's Nelson's game, and if if something happens in like Fortnite, you say, "Oh, thanks, Epic Games," and well, it's a company there, not a single person. But you know what I mean? It's yeah. just like it's easy to it's, pile on. Well, it's yeah. Well, I don't know really where I was 
going with that, but nah. I agree with you, Charles, what you said. Um, the thing is with rating, what a lot of people also maybe don't ex like understand, but like I, I enjoy doing it. And if I play and if I want to create Unturned content, then I really want it to be about uh, essentially playing the game. And well, Unturned is just a game and where like the end game is, well, on most maps, the, the, you know, it's just like raiding everyone. That's like the end game. You can't really do much more without it being like unnecessary. I mean, you can build like a, the biggest base, but like then what? I mean... It's it's kind of like in it's because when I start here, uh, when I started base rating videos, I remember they did not good in the beginning. I used to do like hide and seek videos. I used to do like uh, arena videos. I remember that was the type of content I uploaded. And when I started with rating, um, not a lot of people watched it because uh, well, I don't think they really disliked it because I was still doing PvP before, but it was nearly not as like. Um, getting as much uh, as much attraction as it did later on, but I stuck to it and I continued doing it. And then over time, um, like you know, I I grew my channel with raiding, and and it was good because it's something I genuinely enjoyed. I liked the grind, like I liked um, working hard for the raid. Sounds strange, but you actually have to stay up for like you. It mm -hmm. takes. It, took and it still takes so long to find a good server because you would play on a server for an hour and then realize there's no content like there's no point so switch the server do that again and yeah there's just much more work behind it than people maybe would expect and i think liam would <laughs> agree with that or any base trading creator in that mm. sense and I, I like the grind i like like doing it and it's the uh, yeah, it's a, it's a thing I do. Um, I don't know how I could make it more personal because you said just be yourself, but I, I would say this is myself. I I don't, just in life generally, which is sometimes bad, but I don't do things I don't enjoy or I like delay them. Like even with like I rare responsibilities sometimes I delay them, which I shouldn't maybe. And then with content, like I don't do what maybe would work way better for my channel, if that makes oh, sense. Oh yeah, I'm kind of the same. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. if there's a there's a video um the unturno video which i uploaded only a year ago has over a million views which is only one of three videos with over a million views in just a year and i didn't do an unturno video afterwards like and then so many people wanted it and i wanted to see it the video did really good got a lot a lot a lot of positive feedback but be just because i wasn't enjoying unturno as much i didn't do it afterwards Mm -hmm. I see. All right. I think when it's, it comes, it's not just what it is. Sorry. Um. One last thing. It's not just I. It's not. I'm doing. Sorry. Um. I'm not just doing what is better for my channel. I I do it because I enjoy it. But I also, on the other hand, I wouldn't do anything that I knew would like. I wouldn't start uploading fishing content on my on my <laughs> panda channel. Like just because I enjoy fishing. Uh. Well. We all know that, you know, your fishing is fake, so that'd be hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I wasn't going to go into, yeah, you know what, and you know what, seeing that you worked on other projects besides just your YouTube channel kind of shows that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you made one of the most ambitious mods for all of Unturned in recent memory, which was Blackout. Um, yeah. And I, you know what, I had a lot of fun playing that uh, that mode. I you remember I was there for like a couple of the play tests and played on pretty mm. pretty decently. Not a lot, but pretty decently when it was uh, around mm. still. But you know even though you know we know what happened to Blackout now. I mean, that was still um very impressive for what it was. Um it was groundbreaking. Mm -hmm. It was especially the humongous budget of it, you know. I uh yeah, Bla Blackout was really fun. I mean, it started out as just having an idea, like a very basic... Well, it didn't even... It, in the beginning, it was just supposed to be a very like simple uh, kit PvP server on like washing or something. But then uh, gradually, the more it like, was developed, the more ideas um, we got. And I, it just like went further and further. And like uh, 
it was in the end though like as good as the mod maybe in the end was it had its flaws definitely and not everything was perfect um no 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 chance but it was re it was it was really fun it was really good for unturned but it just well yeah it, it wasn't worth it i think it, you have to put so much time into it and not just for the development also for maintaining it and then creating new stuff because people will get bored of old stuff really quick you have to keep pushing updates and stuff mm -hmm. it's just i'm kind of like in a way i'm glad it all failed um because i be i I, leg I legit for this year i was developing it i was doing nothing but this like my real life has not been very like uh i, I didn't do anything irl either um and it kind of and when it all failed and like i you know at first of, of course i was like disappointed and sad and stuff and i was really down for a while just because i was really 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 ambitious about mm -hmm. it and then it yeah. kind of went down and but then after a while i started realizing that you know there's just more important things i, I it sounds kind of cheesy but it's just more important things in life and there's just better ways to spend your time yeah i get that i think, I the... think you put it i think you put it yeah. well with it wasn't worth the effort anna because it think was that, an ambitious uh, something... project but yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Something else um, was it was definitely um, interesting to see a bunch of concepts which people had been talking about for Unturned be actually put into place. Like I think Blackout was the first time an Unturned, like Unturned, anything had a battle oh pass. Oh my god, I knew he was gonna say it too. I <laughs> think, I think so. But it was it was uh... interesting to see how stuff like an Unturned battle pass would go and how it did function. Um, actually, along with a lot I, of this um, stuff. I used to have an older server, King of the Hill, like the older version, and that had a battle pass. But, ah. but the, I think I, I'm not sure actually. I know there's battle pass plugins now. There's a lot of them now. Um, mm. But I don't know if they existed before that in in that way, like with an integrated. Uh, because I used to have a battle pass on a website with the old server, not on in game. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it was. Like, yeah. it's it huge business. yeah exactly it was a huge learning experience overall like i learned a lot i also learned like well also when it comes to like some basic unity stuff blender stuff like map making stuff like i i've learned a lot throughout that time but i also have learned um, a lot in the sense of well what could what could have or what should have be done better as well as um yeah, like I said, that it it sometimes, I mean, I, I've I've had people tell me it's not worth it. Why are you doing this? Whilst we were developing it, some people said that, and I was like, Nah, man, this this is crazy. And I was so into this project, man. Oh my god, I could, I dreamt of that project. I literally did. I I had dreams of blackout, man, of the development <laughs> of of unity, bro. Dreams oh, of unity sounds like hell. It was it was not <laughs> healthy. No, it wasn't healthy. I, it wasn't. It really was. It's not worth it. It's not. It's. But, yeah. I mean, I. Yeah. I mean, I. I'm chilling now. Right. That's what matters. I see. It's good. Yeah. You see well, my. I had a, um, I'm I had balding, a... man. I'm bald. You see it on my profile picture. That's me now. You. After blackout. That's very real. <laughs> I don't want to dwell on Blackout too much, but how much time did it take to go from the first idea stage to basically the release? Uh, um, like the first like, idea you had about Blackout. Like the first well, dream the you had about <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have dreams until later on, luckily, but uh, it's, well, it was... I don't know, like a year probably. I don't know in hours. I I couldn't I I couldn't tell you in hours, but oh, no, I can course. tell you that most days. I'm talking most days, like eighty plus percent of the days. I worked on blackout. What is just like looking for ideas, thinking of ideas, uh, um, looking for people that could help, and all of that. Like at least like six, seven, eight hours for most days. Like, so it was a full time I, job I, basically. It was basically a full-time job, yeah. Um, oh. Which is, um, again, because looking back, it was like not worth the effort, not worth anything really. Uh, well, knowing that it failed, obviously. But then again, I really enjoyed it at a time, so 
I mean, I was yeah. really into it. I, I, I had fun doing it, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm glad I, I could be a part of it as well. Yeah, so. it was fun to play. A lot play. of people were, like, uh, Diddly was as well, I think. Yeah, I think... Or yeah. Maybe not. I had this idea, which <laughs> I don't which know. I, then... I don't remember. It's, it's been a while. Yeah. I know. It was a very small it part of the of... pass. It brought a lot of people together in the community. Yeah. But so wholesome. Um, a- so, just one more question from me about Blackout as a whole. So, I know in Unturn, it is somewhat restricting to make um, new content because, you know, there's hard coding, all that. If the game was a bit more, I would, if the game was a bit more open, and more um, malleable. Do you think Blackout would have been completed faster, or do you think it would have been completed, um, you know, maybe to more of your liking? Like, what about that? Um. Well, if it probably, I mean, the more, I mean, I'm not a developer myself. Um, I what I did is just planned everything, managed everything, and basically, I told everyone what exactly I need, and they did what I needed or what need, needed to be done for the server to be as it was. I see. Um, yeah. I, I, I prob- Diddly could probably tell you more about it, to be honest. Uh, I yeah. don't... Yeah, I mean, the more options you have, the easier it gets, doesn't it? Yeah, there was a, there was a lot of stuff which um, is very difficult to do. In fact, I was, I was really, really impressed with a lot of the stuff on Blackout uh, yeah. from a lot of the developers because from, like, my own... Um, like standings i thought like oh that's completely impossible and then i yeah. see it on like on an on a server i'm like oh okay it's yeah yes. it's, it just some seems... things in the game sorry no go ahead there just seems to be a huge need especially with the modding community for a bunch of like little workarounds or compromises to meet with the game's um requirements when it comes to modding so that's why I was asking. <laughs> the bayonet. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, as long as you don't have a potato computer, you should get a few FPS. And Black Ops was actually pretty, pretty well optimized for what it was. I think. Oh yeah. Um, mm. The thing is, though, like yeah. because you mentioned, like when it comes to workarounds and stuff, like some things, because I really wanted them to, um, because I really wanted them to like work you had to find a way to make them work and you couldn't just make them work uh, you had to like be like one example is um something that took a while that like people wouldn't even think of the fact that you could just use voice chat um it, it was like you know just to communicate with your team it was handled by like um well it was a lot plugin side where you couldn't change the frequency of the well it was basically like an earpiece um yeah Hmm. And uh, I don't know. It was it was just a lot. And then I don't know, man. I just a bit uh, just a bit just... overwhelmed when I think of Blackout right now with how much <laughs> like there there was. The PTSD from Sorry. Blackout. Yeah. Nah, just like no. Nah, I mean, when it comes to the development, there's just so much. Like I see all the memories coming back. All the unity, <laughs> the errors, <It's> the errors. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, the errors, the horror. So besides Blackout, there was one project I remember you were working pretty hard on, and it was like a combination of Rust and Tarkov and like other survival games. Yeah, the one... yeah. was it? Um, sorry, was it? I thought that was it. Well, it like the one distinct memory I remember asking about. I think towards you is you're trying to make some like attachment that could like change properties throughout like how many kills or how much or something some value and you were having like a bunch of difficulty like getting it down and i was just gonna ask like did that idea or server just kind of just not work and just shut down so i don't remember ever seeing it and like uh are you referring to uh, uh king of the hill most likely, I think. Uh, that server is actually. Um, I don't. Rem- I don't remember what you said about the properties thing. I, I don't know. 
It was like but... an attachment thing, like uh, you know, like laser or it's like uh, oh, you're trying to make something that could increase the damage and then accuracy and then a whole bunch of others. Oh, that was stuff. wasn't that a long time ago, like long way long before time, Blackout. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This yeah. This was also King of the Hill. Actually, this was like um, uh, the I think first version. There was these um, what were they called? Skill? No, not skill. Sorry. Uh, um, what were they called? Stat boosters, I think. Stat yeah. boosters, and they were basically like yeah, like attachments, like a uh, tactical attachment you put on, and they increase the stats of your gun sort of. I did. I did get that to work. Yeah. There's what more options nowadays, that? though. With there's no there's more options nowadays with you being able to decrease the movement speed and stuff. Mm -hmm. What happened to the server? Because I don't really see that many any videos about it. Um, it it closed uh, a long time ago, but I started <clears throat> working on the rework like this year, and the server is actually up. It's not well. I would call it like pre -re like pre-release sort of like i i put it up because before i went on holiday and stuff i knew i would be gone for like two months basically so i just put it up and it, it needs some work now uh but there will definitely be a video coming out about that once i once i get the time to work on some of that stuff again sweet is that what we saw on twitter uh the stuff you're working on in the map editor <clears throat> Yes, that's the island, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, that's uh, that's it. Oh, I see. Because I was asked about that. Um, well, I don't know. I, don't, I think we went through a lot of a lot of stuff. I mean, as we get into like smaller stuff, and there's not really much else to really ask. Hmm. I mean, do you think there's maybe anything that uh, the the public would know? Like, uh, like anything? Like I guess something. the one of the... When I'm here already, I'm just trying to answer as much as I can, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think one of the most uh, interesting topics, I guess, that would be brought up is... What do you miss about old, unturned content creation? Um... Hmm. Old content creation... Mm, well, what I miss, I, one thing is definitely that it was it used to be easier to find bases. There used to be a lot more admin abuse bases, which you could always do good content on. I see. But yeah, it, it was easier generally. Like people weren't as good in PvP as well. Um. Yeah. I see. All right. It's time to get into the takes. Um. One of the things that you said a long time ago on your Twitter account. Um, was saying that one of the worst items to ever be added into Unturned was the military drum and the ranger drum into Unturned. How do you feel about... Did I say that? Yeah. You said that it was basically... It, it was unnecessary and that it was kind of just like bad. And the drums in general are just bad for video games in general. I don't remember saying that. <laughs> are you sure I said yes, that? Yes, you said it. You you told me because I remember when you were developing Blackout, you brought up that tweet that you made, and lo and behold, there's a lot of guns that didn't have very that drums or like you know over like was it forty shots that weren't like LMGs. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, sounds like a good take. I, I guess you feel. I, I mean, when it comes <laughs> down to it, I mean, I think it's true. I think a lot. Of, I think a lot of the. I think a lot of the problem with um, drums is that it's created a kind of spam um, yeah. from players instead of I think accuracy. That, um, yeah. I think, that, uh, I think that with drums also, it kind of like invalidates using other ammo types because there's because there are there aren't many, but there are the other like types of like m like military ammo. Like there's the mm -hmm. there's frag and tracer. Tracer being like basically useless though, but it looks cool. <laughs> but there's pretty much like no reason to use those because you just simply have less ammo than someone else who's using a drum, and that immediately puts you at a massive disadvantage you can't really do much about. Also, that just lowers the skill level required to operate the gun you're using. Okay, this sounds very technical, but what I mean, look yeah, at no, the. Yeah, I know what you mean. 
Because look at the, I get like, it, newer um... maps that are being mm. developed. For example, I want to bring up Knockout from last year. Uh, how it had the sniper with like single shot. Uh, this year we also had Rand Rand House, but it's it's a little bit different. Thing is, there is a big incentive of putting skill into using those weapons, and it's mainly based around the fact that you don't get a second chance to shoot. You 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 need to focus actually on aiming, and with yeah. more ammo. Well, that's just less important. I guess. Yeah, I think that um, also the whole thing about drum mags is that the other um, it'd be good if the other like um ammo types were better i guess because if like if for example like frag rounds got a buff then that would actually have like have people thinking like oh do i use like do i use like more damage from frag rounds than or more like, ammo. just more than mm -hmm. yeah than just more ammo in general it'd be pretty hard to balance that because a hundred rounds with the maple strike doing nearly what is it 48 to the head a lot of damage yeah yeah. yeah. No. And then let's, comparing that let's to just like... completely let's just completely ignore the fact that the average uh time to kill an unturned is much much lower like than the average human reaction time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I think well nowadays didn't Nelson add uh, that you are that you move slower when having a drum No, attached? I don't think so. That's not. A thing. I don't. Uh, no, that's, that's a thing. I'm pretty the sure ADS is slower. The ADS is slower. Yeah, you're slower when you're aiming, but not when, but not when you're moving. Uh, if you that is, that is that something or... that would be good though. If you attach a laser and a muzzle to it, though, that really doesn't matter. I mean, that's kind of what Arid did, didn't? Oh my God, another podcast episode where we shill Arid. Who would have thought? But <laughs> all right, this is not Reina. This is not Reina. <laughs> <laughs> I have another. I have, I have something else I also want to bring up because I think it's an interesting take that P9 had. P9 has said before that. That horde beacons should not drop raiding supplies. Ooh, and I think that's one of the interesting takes that you've had about um, when it comes to getting raiding supplies. Do you still stand by that? Uh, yeah. I mean, how else I'm would you get raiding sure supplies? Horde beacons. <laughs> you you find them. <laughs> sure. Um, no, I mean the way. Uh... I don't. I don't really do horde beacons anymore. Funnily enough, I did one yesterday because I was playing on a server, and we got like, I, f I could be wrong, but did Nelson nerf what you're getting from a horde beacon? I don't think. Because so. I, I think swear you dependent. only get snipers and desert falcons nowadays. I don't think so. It's very much random, but then it's also linked to the amount of people. But I think that's only just amount of items you get. Yeah, I yeah I do know that, but. I mean, I, it, you used to get dragon, like, only True. dragon, like, so many dragon fang uh, boxes and stuff. Uh, I think it just comes down to luck. Yeah. Yeah, it well, could. it must be. And also that Nightcraft doesn't raid anymore, and you do mm. also get Nightcraft stuff. So Horde Beacons used to be stronger just because of that as well. I thought it was based on map. As in, It's also get... based on map. Maps, yeah. maps can have custom Horde Beacon uh, yeah, but, um, loot. Official but... maps also mm. have different pools. Like, you can, like, <laughs> okay. in Washington, you could only get, like, Russian weapon, like, PKM, Echo, and mini in uh, Hell's Fury. While in Russia, if you do a Horde Beacon, you get uh, Desert Falcon, um, Timberwolf, and uh, Dragon. I think Bay. you got it switched up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you switched it up. With oh, does Echo. It so, wait, does it correlate with the Echo, map, or does it uncorrelate sure with the map to incorporate more military weapons in... I mean, it has to correlate with the map. Look at curated content. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it correlates to the map. I'm pretty sure Echo spawns more in Russia. Because I think it does spawn in regular Well, boxes well no, I mean, like, from Horde Beacons. Because they're supposed to, like, ha they're supposed to incorporate Russian weapons into non-Russian maps somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's yeah, there an is, opportunity to use them. There is a Night Curves dropping on Washington. I can't confirm yeah. that. Yeah. Well, no, yeah, well, yeah, no. The one spot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, yeah, I, mm -hmm. I I also had another take. I don't know if you've ever read that, Charles, but um, I, I was wondering what your opinion to that is. I think that metal plates should be removed from the game. I think Ooh. um, I think generally freeform is kind of like an iffy topic. I think it's the biggest spot um, when it comes to the buildings as a whole. Uh, just freeform buildables are so 
and also this probably could agree with me, free for build levels are so hard to work with um, when it comes to development standpoint. It's so difficult to work with when it comes to um, just dealing with shit. I mean, I think you've seen concepts of bases where they you can make a whole room, ten walls basically, with metal plates if you perfectly place um, and basically make it like Maybe almost impenetrable base within within like a a two by two. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I think that I think that we uh, you and me, Charles. I think we made a base that had some freeform stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... Um, around the sides because it was like we made it so it was like really easy to shoot out, but difficult to shoot the person who's in. Yeah, I, 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 like I we won't bring up the the dark arts. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, I think I think freeform is one of the most like uh, I think the, the worst of the buildables of all of them because I mean it created people like me. I like when I, I used to glitch back mm. in the past. A lot of glitchers used freeform because they were just so exploitable because mm. um, you can place them anywhere. And um, I think when it comes to like w w what you're talking about is metal plates. Like you're talking about the large metal plates, but the small ones as well. Just, just any any plates. metal plate. Um. I think honestly, metal pipes are a lot harder to, are a lot more difficult. I'd say if all the free forms of metal pipes need to be removed, but yeah, hmm. I mean, well, okay, just free for metal in general. Then, free for metal, guess. yeah, it's difficult. It's so difficult to deal with. Like it's, I, I think honestly, I had an idea. I think it's, um, I think it's really annoying. I think it was brought up once, but I think it's really annoying that if you have like freeform metal is usually like really cheap like it's just like scrap mm. and you can block um you can block like loop spawns like houses from from like new players so you can just completely like lock down w a place by just using like some metal outplayed. yeah L and then it's yeah. like oh now they have to go and get like a dragon fang to get like civilian loot i mean so it's definitely yeah, an you issue could... there you you can usually zombie raid those but then again new players wouldn't know about it anyways yeah, um, and it when, can when be I difficult sometimes, depending on where yeah, it is. Like, doorways. Definitely. My idea, um, uh, P9, for this problem, because I know I know the problem that we're both discussing here, is to make the Nyko Rev useful again, and make it useful in the raiding mm -hmm. uh, category. Because, let's be real, Nyko Rev is never going to be fixed. So just make it raid like freeform metal, or make it raid wooden bases. I think that's my take on that point. I mean, I don't know because it would overcomplicate things. Like, you would yeah, have to like rating levels. Try, hmm. try to explain a a new player like, oh, so the Nightcraft is used to rate free form metal, but then you can use a Dragon Fang to rate everything, but you can only use civil like non non rating guns to rate wooden free form, and then you and so on. I mean, I guess the self. That's self just, I think it's too complicated. It, it would be too complicated, but I mean, like we have a complicated kind of building system, and not really a rating system. It's really like charge, dragon fang. <laughs> I feel like the game is slightly. Uh, it's it's not newcomer friendly enough as it is. No, for example, it's really not. It's for example, like all the craft. I remember when I just started playing this game. You don't know how to craft anything you have to look everything yeah. up on the wiki i think um like getting new people into unturned is definitely pretty difficult i think whenever i would because i would teach a few of my like outside of unturned friends the game i think the way that i would do it every time is i would fully complete the russia quest line with them and like that's a like decent introduction but that's like also quite a bit yeah hmm. and then i guess every single curated map that comes out has its own little tricks yeah that yeah that's an i guess that's another hot topic i have actually i don't think we need more curated maps Ooh. Ooh. I, what we need is a new official map which is in the same style of all the others with the same sort of like items like i don't think we need like you said, another completely new map with new mechanics, with new item, with everything new. I think it's just getting like. I mean, well, realistically, people concert, are going to play yeah. that for for a month and then they quit. Can you unless it's Arid, people still play Arid. <laughs> Can you yeah. argue that the curated maps is te technically like the new official maps? Because I mean, they. I no. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying the curated maps are bad. They're actually like 
they're really good. Like some of the maps are like, I know when Elva came out, that was like the first stunner, I guess. Mm -hmm. And all the, all all curate curate maps are crazy. Um, But what I'm saying is I think Andrew needs like another, uh, an official map, which is simple, which doesn't have like a, it doesn't need to be that complicated. It doesn't need to have like that much to do. Like I think if people just get a, I don't know what it would be. Just a new official map, like because un- unturned with all the like curated unturned is not really unturned, is it? Yeah, I agree with Pinot on this point. I, I know, I I know some older players as well also agree with this that they're that they're wanting Nelson to make another uh, map that's official and not curated because it's like, yeah, it's nice. It really is nice. I love the curated stuff, but um, it would be cool to see Nelson throw his hat rack in the ring of making maps again, which. I don't know if it's gonna ever happen again. I don't. I don't think so. Um, sadly, no. which it's interesting to hear from a perspective of like an old player because I, for example, just started being around in the community just around when Elver dropped. So for me, curated content is kind of the game because I never really got to experience vanilla content without curated content existing. You know. Yeah. So I, I feel that, um... I feel it's very hmm. much about who you ask, and but I do agree that. Um, curated personally... content really ca- mm. caters kind of to those players who have been in the community for some time because they already know how the game works so they kind of can figure out how stuff you know how that specific new map works however if you would have an official map that would drop now I feel like a lot of new players would have that might might attract new players to the game just because it's the simplicity of vanilla, you know? Maybe yeah. the entire vanilla system could be reworked, actually, because it has its flaws. Hey. <laughs> I'd like a lot of those systems to be reworked, honestly, but yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. That'd be flooding the game that, um, on its head. I think that um, something that could be interesting is a community member could make a new official map. Uh, like, yeah. Because with all of the, like, community I mean... maps that get added to the game through curated, like, most of the stuff in there is custom, but, like, what if there was, like, a new map which used mainly vanilla content? I feel it's just a dissonance of, like, how do you want to approach this, you know? Do you want to make a vanilla map that feels like all the old vanilla maps, or do you want to make... Because also an idea I've had and I've heard from other people is to rework the old official maps to kind of fit the standard of today but you know hmm. i don't know what you guys you think you mean about the that. standard of the curated stuff yes post post no stuff, please basically. don't please don't. I, I think i think and and not because and not because they are bad but again and that's a bit contradicting because on the one hand you say oh um the like the same assets and stuff the old map get too repetitive but then again you want a map to be like that again but there's just something about the um official maps uh that it's just, i don't know it's um when russia used when russia came out it was i don't think curated maps were really around at that time maybe france or so i don't remember but it was so hype. And then the same with Germany, despite how, well, Germany actually was. It's not the Germany best map. Is, uh, but Germany. Uh-huh. It's Germany. It's not the best map. But <laughs> again, it's just, I think if we had, instead of like two new curated maps every year or one curated map every year, we have like one official map every one or two years, which is, which kind of is in the same style as the vanilla, um, just low poly, like just very, very low poly. Uh, think... it's just yeah. I don't know that it's just my it's just it's just how I see it I don't know I think uh, can I, I think say something what's kind of like yeah okay I think I think when it comes to um bringing up to speed the older maps all I really can think about without changing anything really major about them is just updating the descriptions of food and weapons to actually show the amount of damage mm-hmm. and like food and water oh, they no, take that... because I think that's, that's just yes. a quality of life change that needs to happen for a turn like, I don't even know the exact numbers of how much food does beans be- give you, like canned beans. Like, I-, I think newer players have a problem with that, too. Like, understanding, does this is this better than this? Is that better with that? 
what item is better? And I think yeah. that was very limited yeah. to the scene. I don't, even, I, don't even, I don't even know what like, actual value is. I don't know the actual value. I don't even know. Exactly. Exactly. You have to Google everything. You, nothing's in the game. So I think and, I think doing that yeah. to uh, the older stuff is fine. I think that's not too crazy. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're not changing anything. You're just... If anything, you're just helping new players. Yeah, yeah I agree with that. I, I was thinking that just recently as well. When I was playing something and I wanted... Like, I had some food in my inventory. I wanted to check how much food it gives me. But then, but then there's the problem, right? When the food is low durability, it gives you less, right? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So, so you can't even and then you, consistently check. Well, actually, no. Which I no, think what it does. There's no dynamic translation. I think you, you mm-hmm. what you could yeah. do is you could, because uh, I think the multiplier is based on the percentage of the food, and multiplied to the to the actual like base stat. So I think you actually could do it an update an actual update. Yeah, but number. are you gonna? Are you gonna do maps every single time? No, the game would run a calculation based yeah. on the <laughs> thing. But I think that's just too technical for me. I feel like I've done it before. Oh, you mean like like the percentage? Oh, would, like, percentage would change yeah. the food type. Like it would just do the math and be like, oh, this is the twenty nine percent tomato. Let's just do. The, it just runs the math to the item. It's like you will get this much food from it. Yeah, that yeah. Could this be... is it's possible, but then again, not with the current um, way. All the all the items are oh, set yeah. up right because yeah. the oh, no, translation it. use, yeah, <laughs> and uh, we know what happens when things get added to the game or changed. Yeah, you know what? So I wanted and... to I wanted to say this about like the official maps. You said I think what's so charming about them is the consistency. Like, yes, you you on PEI when you have like an eagle fire, it's an eagle fire. You know how it works? You find one on Washington. Oh, it's an eagle fire. I exactly know what that is. You know, you find that on any other map, it's the same gun. Yeah. Every created, every created map has its own guns and its own items nowadays. Which, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I think that's also something. Um, like going back to like teaching people the game. Like I remember, I go through like the entire like Russia quest level with someone. I'm like, okay, that's like that's all the basics of how this works. Okay, welcome to Elva. Every item is different. Yeah. <laughs> like. Yeah. Oh, you learned how. Oh, you learned how the the like. Oh, you learned how the Nikrov works. The the Eagle Fire. You learned all that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we have different. We have different guns. Uh, all of those are gone, by the way. And uh, all of these guns are only for this map. Uh, and, I, and the next curated map you play, they're all going to be different again. And I think this is like. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think a big thing they're overlooking, and I kind of feel bad for people who just start curated, like playing only curated maps. And go and they go to official maps, is wooden doors because I would say <laughs> oh, the, a big yeah. friend of on like Elver, Kuwait, Arid, and I believe Polaris and whatever, uh, wooden doors lock like they should. Yeah. But just remember, in vanilla, they're pure. They're just a barrier that anybody can Trent, open. You're you're exposing the conspiracy. Is, is Nelson? Wait, is Nelson watching this? Do you, do you know? Uh, most likely. Sometimes. He, he, most likely. He does. Okay, he does Nelson, Nelson, listen, please, please. <laughs> rename the, the vanilla wooden door. Rename it to unlocked wood maple door, pine door, birch door. Please right. add unlocked. It would be so much I should, more I should make people a video about know. this. Do you think it could be cool if we could? Because some people will argue that... Okay, first of all, do you think that the wooden door should be lockable in vanilla? Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you think that should be changed? Yes, I think that. Yeah. I, think that's I think that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that is also. I, I think that metal is I very easy to craft. The, um, I think that the it's doors very easy to craft. I think that just the doors in general should be able to be um like specifically like metal doors and stuff. I think they should be able to be locked and unlocked like cars can. I exactly. Mm-hmm. I was gonna bring up whether there should be like two versions of doors for example you have a locked wooden door and an unlocked one because i know if if wooden doors would just become locked there would be a bunch of people uh complaining about that change and very understandably coming from the rp scene for example where yeah, they don't they really use care about someone getting into your house the yeah. door is mainly just a decoration so i mean you guys are looking yeah. for like things to fundamentally ch- like in adding new mechanics and stuff like Glock did it. i'm yeah. just trying to rename yeah. some files here well, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. something I mean, realistic 
Nelson's not gonna do what you just said. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. It's not like Nelson's not adding new items. Look at bounce charges. Sure. Oh, no, he hey. is low. Oh, you mean like drop, a... Yeah. I mean, wait. Do you mean like a? So you mean a, a, a separate? No, item? it's just, it's like. Oh yeah, I'm yes. I mean, there would be like a separate oh. locked wooden door and an unlocked wooden door. Right. Like I thought you meant um, that you can oh, like no. unlock and lock them at any time. You know. The that would be one. cool, just but I don't think that's back. possible right they now. Should yeah. just do, they should just do no. that for all doors, honestly. <laughs> in, in real life, too. So you just go up to a door in real and life just unlock too. the door. Yeah, I know, right? Mm -hmm. But like, maybe with like yeah, a specific right? item, like a key dude, or something. The, I don't know. Dude, the, tr dude, the curated trend that ruined Vanilla. That's the new title. No, no, no. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. um, I guess we, we went um, through all the takes, okay. right? Okay, wait. I have, a, I have a personal take for P9. Um, I actually have the video copy in paste it here let's see do you remember okay p9 this is nearly four years ago do you remember a tw a certain twitch stream that you were on where i suggested that you watch this video that i just posted is that advertising the one that I said on the podcast. is bad do another one yeah I keep it up yeah, yeah 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 that's the one so this is so i sent him a video called uh it's like my earliest rendition of an unturned gun sink. I was really obsessed with those. And I was sitting around like 28 subs. And the thing is, I was a little bit hurt that P9 said it was not great, but he didn't say, you know, like just throw that in the trash, just say, oh yeah, just use it and try again, you know, to make it better, which is what I did. Let me try to find. I showed him. I think if I remember correctly, I, I, I saw that one. I, I listened to it and I was like, it's not bad, but you could improve on it. And if you keep it up, like just practice more, and then you'll you'll get much better, right? Mm -hmm. And then I made my next one, which ended up on um, community blog number three, which I always have to say. And then P9's like, okay, this is like a lot better, eight out of ten, and that made me like pretty happy. And I probably will. I probably have to say that without P9. The Trying Games channel may or may not have been, like you know, existed to this capacity because I probably would have just stopped making um stuff, you know. So I'm very That's grateful awesome. for that. Yeah. No, thank you for saying that. I was I was designed in a lab by P9 America. No, you weren't. You, were, you? you were designed by Rice Chef and were let loose. And not in corporate, no, no, not, no, not corporate have, rice chef, dude. <laughs> I have images of the prototype versions of you. I have images of the prototype. Oh my what? god, Charlie, you sound like you're 40 years <laughs> what old. What does dude. this mean? Well, rice chef created you, so I mean, I'm like in the lab. No, <laughs> no. Um, all right, it's actually. Be, uh, before we end the podcast, that's one advice I can give like to people when, like, just try to be. So when someone's asking you for an opinion, just as a general life advice, then don't mm -hmm. try to just, even if it's trash, don't tell them it's trash. Try to tell them like, it's not maybe as good, but if you, you know, keep it Improve up, then it. it'll oh, get better. Yeah, and, and it definitely, and it worked, right? That's a success mm -hmm. story right here. Yes. Don't dis don't discourage people. Like, no. It's going to sound. Don't be, it, don't be mean. Don't be mean. Don't hate them. Yeah, Just, don't be a hater, cloud chaser. That's actually such a great advice for the unturned community overall. Mm -hmm. It's, wow. Don't be haters or cloud don't be, chasers. Don't be ops. Don't be ops. Yeah. Don't be ops Rome or cops, wasn't dude. built in a day. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, it was. Come okay. On. The <laughs> last thing we want to talk about with P9 is something that, honestly, I can't forgive P9 for ever. Um, Here, is that you've been on your Twitter recently and you've been posting these images of <laughs> you fishing yeah, and um, oh, no. you've been you've been lying to everybody <laughs> about catching these fish from these lakes um, can you, why? Can you, can you explain this can you elaborate can on you this can you look at this image that we have in the chat and explain to me why <laughs> there's a tag on the fish there's a tag on the fish oh. P9. Did, you, did you forget Wait. Wow, that's full <laughs> That's a photo yeah, shot, he says. Oh, oh. No, no. Oh, I was, the photo, the wait. Photo oh, you forgot wait, to buy it. I was literally just looking about it. What? what? There was a tag. There was a tag. Yeah, you <laughs> left the tag on the fish. Nah, 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 nah. You <laughs> left the tag on the fish, <laughs> V9. Dude, dude, I sure. see the original right now, and there's no tag. <laughs> dude, what original? Dude, the, it is oh, the original, original P9. Dude, the, dude, the fisherman's curse. 
Oh, no, no I, I think I don't that's, a, that's, a, that's, that's, Photoshop. that's Photoshop. That's Photoshop. That's Photoshop. Come on. <laughs> I know, I see. Yeah, look. You can I see, like, where the tag was, like, originally. Yeah. Like, you can see, like, a little bit of warp. Like, yeah. what the hell? Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. I, I just have to say, this one, though, th this, this is, is the this nail is in the coffin. The, this come is the on, man. You're coffin. not even trying here. What is this? <laughs> Come on, the lighting's all off. Like, come on, you can even see the water. The water mark. Yeah. The water no, the light, Like, literally, the lighting's coming from the left, but the lighting should be the coming right. from the right. Like, that's why I don't get it. Exactly. What are What's you guys doing experience? with these pictures? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> these are the unedited you, raw. These are footage. the ones that were posted to You're your Twitter account. Real, we could, like, we could take some of the real oldest pictures. Like, nah. We could have taken no, the no, oldest no, no. cameras in existence, taken those pictures, and they would look the exact same as they are now. <laughs> That's how unedited they are. All right, so what are you trying to say? Like, how did I feel? You're faking, you're fishing. I think, no, 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 okay, no, no, so no, 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 I've, I have, a, I have an you informant. I have an informant that's told me, <laughs> that's told me some stuff, okay? And they've been spying on you. They did slash spy, okay? So what, <laughs> what, they, what they say is that they look for the lake, right? And they look, and they realize that there's actually a fish market about 10 minutes away. So what you do is you go to the fish market, you buy these fish with the tags and everything, and sometimes remove them, sometimes don't. You you didn't in the first image that we sent in chat. Like you just left the tag there, kind of lazy. Um, and you just take images of you posing uh, with this fish, either in front of a green ski green, or maybe we're outside and you go to a lake that doesn't even have the fish type in it. Like that's very smart, P nine, very smart. Like I know, there's only like two carp in that Charles. in that lake. <laughs> okay, Charles, tell me one fish market that sells freshwater fish, though. <clears throat> um, I would like to apologize in advance. <laughs> 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 All right, that was a great impersonation of a very um very suspicious person. All right. Um, <laughs> I'd like to apologize. Okay, so, um, which person? Oh, I don't know. I don't know who the person is. Um, <laughs> who? who? Um, huh? What? When? Where? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I guess this kind of concludes this episode of the Unturned Podcast. Does anyone mm -hmm. else have anything else to say before we end off? I do not. Mm -hmm. Just I thank you for joining. Thanks for us. watching. Oh yeah, uh thanks for inviting me and uh to the viewers, thanks for watching. Leave like, subscribe. <laughs> I guess I guess I should say the last it's thing I should say to, to the P9 is even though I've I've had, you know, we've had a little bit of a bad relationship since a very long time ago to even now. Uh <laughs> in the event that something Yeah, you said I ruined Ray. Yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> <laughs> stop stop bitching. What it. is stop bitching. Stop bitching. <laughs> Um, even though, you know, okay, our relationship okay, has been sorry. rocky for the, the long time, in the event that, um, someone does depose you as a new Unturned Raider, <clears throat> Liam, you will always be a very influential man in the Unturned scene <laughs> for all of history. You've made your mark. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm, I'm glad I could, uh, make a mark. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Charles. You've, you've done, you've done great. You've done great things. Such, such a wholesome episode today. Yeah. It is. All right. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for listening to this Unturned Podcast. I've been your host, Chris Charles, and you have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.